I'm Nancy Rothwell, President and Vice-Chancellor of the University of Manchester. Um, I've been in post for just over a year, beginning on the 1st of July 2010. I think the Universities of Manchester have contributed to the city's global reputation really in, in, in three different ways. Firstly, through fundamental discovery or creation of knowledge, uh, and this might be uh, new writings, new medicines, new mechanisms, new stars discovered. Secondly, through the application and the impact of that knowledge, and I think universities are places where the application of knowledge is important, and that can be anything from the first artificial hip that was implanted in Manchester, the first cochlear implant for deafness, or a new engineering project, building a new power station, lots of different ways. And of course, thirdly, in training and the development of people. Uh, in students who go on to graduate in many different disciplines and our staff who contribute in many ways to society both in Manchester and more globally. It's an interesting time to consider uh, our students as ambassadors because we're right in the middle of our degree ceremonies just at the moment. It's a wonderful time actually, I love the degree ceremonies when students are happy and celebrating their success and I tell them they'll join a family of over a quarter of a million alumni of the University of Manchester spread out across the world and many of those achieve fantastic things. Uh, I was out in Hong Kong and China a couple of months ago, and it was interesting to see many of the very senior positions in Hong Kong and many successful businesses in China led by our alumni. Similarly, uh, in a different vein, I was at a, a dinner of very senior people in the media, all have graduated from this university. And then, of course, there are others that have gone on to academic careers, to business, to arts, and so on. And it's fantastic to think that they graduated from this university. Many of them stay in contact with the university and very proud that they're part of the university. And then, of course, if we look even further back, 23 of our past students and staff were winners of the Nobel Prize. Two current ones win, two further current ones are winners of the Nobel Prize. But then there are great people in other disciplines, in history and economics, in art and so on. And, and I'd like to think that their time at the university had an impact on their future success. The United Kingdom in general, and Manchester in particular, has benefited hugely from knowledge-based economies. And I think the significant changes that will occur in the future, or that I hope will occur in the future, is that Manchester and the United Kingdom will retain and even develop its uh, leading position in knowledge economies. I think one of the changes that will start to happen is that knowledge and new approaches will become ever more important in the more traditional industries. And just before I came into this interview, I came from a conference at the Museum of Science and Industry, hosted by the university, uh, with the opening address by Sir John Beddington, the chief scientific advisor. And it was about e-agriculture. It was about how we can solve the world's food problems by using new approaches, some of them actually electronic. And the idea that, of course, knowledge is being applied to even small market gardeners or farmers and so on, even 20 years ago would have been almost unheard of. But when you hear of some of the developments in new crops and the new ways of irrigation, of sensing the environment around, so I think knowledge will start to impact even in, in the areas where we least expect it. <laughs> uh, I did think about this. It's an impossible thing to say what one thing Manchester has done. Of course, very well known uh, for being one of the primary sites of the Industrial Revolution, and it was great that when Barack Obama came and gave his speech, he referred to Manchester once directly as the home of the Industrial Revolution, and once indirectly as the home of the computer and mm -hmm. Alan Turing. And so I'm going to be naughty and suggest a couple of other things, but I, I do think the Industrial Revolution and some of the changes, such as suffragette movement, trades union, the cooperative, but also more recently some of the discoveries that have come from uh, the universities that have really impacted um, and I can't help but mention the most recent huge discovery of graphene, the yeah. uh, most remarkable material um, that I think will have a massive impact in the future on people's lives but difficult though it is I think I have to say um, the industrial revolution. I should just add though that there are so many areas outside of science because Manchester is a place that's known for its real creativity. Music, media, art, and football. You can't ignore football. A visitor to Manchester has a wealth of events. 
that they could attend. My first thing I would suggest to them is an interesting one, because I would suggest they walk into the main entrance of the town hall. As far as I know, it's the only town hall in the United Kingdom where the statues on either side are great scientists of this university, Dalton and Jewell. And that's saying something about how the city values discovery. But beyond that, obviously, I would encourage them to attend uh, our own museum, uh, which has a lot of exhibits and history. At the present time, the university's art gallery has an exhibition of 100 years of science, including the computer and so on, and, uh, and the Museum of Science and Industry, which also has much about discovery. A little bit further out, if they're willing to travel, of course, the Jodrell Bank uh, New Science Discovery Centre, which is important. And then some of the great um, festivals of Manchester, the International Festival, which has just closed, um, is, is a brilliant demonstration of creativity in Manchester. Then the Science Festival, which is held once every two years. And now the History Festival, which has had its first uh, event uh, and will be having another. So there's much about the city where you can see those discoveries, but I'd start walking into the town hall and then go to the museums and the gallery and you'll see some fantastic exhibits of what's been done in Manchester.